Come on, Big Floyd. Hey, I'll be fresh on the school. It's Big Floyd Holland. Home for the week and then I flip back to college. Gotta make boys straight feel me. Dying at the college, coaches like me cause my skills is Top of the line, young G, skip to serve with the wine I got to show these boys my raw nigga hide Catch me on the TV, nationwide I win Me and MJG, yeah we both get paid Both mighty scholars, I'm all about the dollar You catch me at the Harvey, make a yellow hole holler Meaning what I say, I'm only out to trade. I got to come red, turn her head no other way. I'm rolling three deep with my partner named Billy. In the back seat, it's that nigga R. Kelly. He bumping and grinding, it's on the dying low. I got to show boys i never be no hoe. Cause in this world of sports, we still sipping bar. Drop the bendy top and we got to roll far. I'ma hit the Florida, that's the East Coast. Never will I brag, never will I brag. Yeah. Alright, first and foremost, let to give all praise on the glory to the most I got, Yahweh. We do so in the name of his only begotten son for the world called Jesus Christ. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass society known as Babylon the Great, which is America according to the Bible. And they teach repentance to you so called blacks, Latinos, Native and similar Indians, telling you who you are according to the Bible, telling that you're an Israelite and that the so called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. All right. And America is going to be destroyed via thermonuclear destruction, right? Right. All right. So I was watching the video yesterday on, on um, RT America, right? And what they what they got going on down there in Virginia, they're trying to remove a statue of General Robert E. Lee. Now, any of y'all ever heard of Robert E. Lee? Robert E. Lee, let me tell you something about Robert E. Lee, right? Robert E. Lee, he was he was a general in the American Civil War. Robert E. Lee fought against the so-called Latino man, Mexican man, right? In the year 1844, you had the Mexican uh, 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 American War, right? And that was to expand the U.S. territory. And that territory was Oregon and Texas, which Oregon, Texas, California, and Arizona, you so-called Hispanics, you Mexicans, this is your land, right? right? So the U.S. said we're either going to take that land with peace or by force. And what happened? The so-called white man took your land by the force of the sword, because that's his blessing, right? But the point is, Robert E. Lee, he was involved in that, right? Robert E. Lee also owned Negro slaves. You so-called Negroes, you so-called black Americans, Robert E. Lee inherited you as slaves because you were passed down uh, uh, to Robert E. Lee by his mother. So he owned slaves. So what the so-called white man is trying to do, the so-called white man is trying to suppress and eliminate uh, 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 um, the, um, the wicked deeds of the so-called white man by removing that statue of Robert E. Lee out of Virginia so that you guys can stay asleep, so that the so-called white man can rock you right back to sleep, okay, try to eliminate slavery from history. He, 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 he's trying to let you forget what you did, what, what he did to your ancient forefathers, man. Okay, but the men of the most side, we're not going to forget. Give me Proverbs 28 and 13. Right? But this is what wicked people do. Wicked people try to cover up history so that they won't be looked at as a bad guy. So that you so-called blacks and Hispanics, Native and some of the Indians can hold hands with your oppressor and sing damn kumbaya. Because that's ultimately what he wants you to do. Right? But give me this. Uh, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. It says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. Right? He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. And that's one way of this devil trying to cover up their sins, removing a statue of this goddamn devil and slave owner, a Robert E. Lee. They're trying to cover up their sins, but that's why America is not going to prosper. That's why America is in the predicament that, you're, uh, that they're in today. Give, give that in brute four, miserable brute four and 30. That's exactly why America is in the state in a condition that is in today. Because you try to cover up your sins. And what's the sense of slaving the so-called black, Hispanic, Native, and Southern Indian men, which are the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible? Right? Finish that off. It says, but whoso confesses and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Right. And if you uh, confess your sins, you might you might get some mercy. But the so-called white man is too proud to even confess his sins. 
The so-called white man, Sir Evelyn Rothschild, ain't going to come over here to the hood in Dallas and bow down himself to you so-called blacks and Latinos because they're too proud, man, all right? But America is in the condition that it's in because of the enslavement of you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, or similar Indians. Read this for me, bro. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 31. Go ahead. Miserable are they that afflicted thee. Right, miserable are they that afflicted thee. That's why America is in a miserable state right now. That's, right. That's why you got nothing but riots and rallying and looting going on, going on in America. That's why in Minnesota, the day of Wells Fargo, which Wells Fargo was with two Jewish guys, and rest assured, uh, 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 they were involved in slave trade too, right? Right? Wells, Wells Fargo was on fire. Why is Wells Fargo on fire? Why is it that Target is getting hit? Rocks and bricks being thrown through their windows? Because America is in a miserable state right now. Because you enslaved the Lord's chosen people. Go ahead. And rejoice at our fall. Right, and you rejoice at our fall. You rejoice at the fact that we were slaves and that we are slaves unto you. You rejoice at the fact that we lost our heritage. You rejoice at the fact that we have gotten no justice over the last 500 years. These so-called white people rejoice at that. They don't care. These so-called white people that you so-called Negroes and Latinos want to invite to the cookout so damn bad, he doesn't care about you, man. That's right. Okay? He cares about uh, making you a perpetual slave forever. Right? That's why he wants to put that chip in you. Because that chip is a branding. And branding to uh, to uh, to further solidify that you belong to the so-called white man, right? Is that it on that? Come, on. come, on, go ahead. Miserable are the cities uh -huh. which thy children serve. You see, miserable are thy cities that thy children have served, right? That's why America is is such in a turmoil right now, because we don't serve this country, we don't build this country up. Now this country is falling, man. Go ahead. Miserable is she that received thy son. Right, which is dealing with Babylon. Go ahead. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin yeah. and was glad of thy fall, uh -huh. so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Right, she will be grieved for her own desolation because America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, right? That's right. Bring out your preacher, bro. Book of Cyrus, chapter 23 and verse 19. Okay. It says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of man, uh -huh. and know not the eyes of the Lord okay. are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. All right, man. Uh -huh. the, the eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. These devils are going to try to remove history like the Lord don't right. uh, see your ass, man. Right. The Lord sees everything that you're doing. Everything was preached. It was written for you to do that, right? You can't fool the most high. You can surely fool our people because our people are simple as all hell. You can you can you can you can rock these so-called Negroes to sleep, but the elect, but the most side, you cannot fool us, man. That's right, man. Because all this, all the things of Esau are searched out. E everything, almost everything, any wicked deed that you so-called white people have done is going to be revealed to to the Lord's men, and we're going to come out here and declare it to you so-called blacks, Latinos, and native of similar image, man. Because you need to know this history. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 7, right? Because the Lord said to don't forget about the past. And what does America do? America tries to tell you to forget about the past. Right? That's why they try to remove that statue of that devil, Robert E. Lee. Right? And the woman in the video literally says that, yeah, they want to erase that from history. So you so-called Negroes don't know about the history, man. So that so that your, your sons and their sons, sons, and sons forget about slavery. Right? But that's not going to be removed from the planet Earth. So read this verse, and then I, and then I got you, bro. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. Okay. says, remember the days of old. So God says, remember the days of old, man. We're supposed to remember the former age. But America teaches you to forget about the past. But why is it that every single year there was a, 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 a what's that word I'm looking for? Commemoration of the, uh, uh, of the Holocaust. Why is it that we have to remember the Holocaust, but we have to forget about slavery? Right. Why is that? Why do we have to forget about the oppression of our people? Because America says that you're three-fifths of a man. America says that you're a sub, uh, 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 sub, uh, subhuman. America uh, coined the term manifest destiny to justify the enslavement and the pillage and the raping of our people. That's why. That's why they tell us to forget about it. Because we're just some niggers. We're just some spits. We're just some wetbacks. But little do you know that we're the children of the Most High, and the Lord is going to surely avenge our blood, right? Go ahead. It says, remember the days of old. So God said, remember the days of old. You need to, you need to uh, uh, research, okay? We're in the, we're in the, uh, in the uh, age of information. You're literally walking around with a computer in your pocket that you just uh, sit on and, and scroll on Instagram watching women shake their ass all day. 
You got a computer in your pocket, a mini computer. Utilize it. Do some research on your on your forefathers. Go ahead. Consider the years of many generations. Consider the age of uh, the, the year of many generations. Go ahead. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. Right. So you're supposed to be inquiring of your fathers, asking your fathers, asking your grandparents. Hey, 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 what happened to us in the past? You know, I know you lived through, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know this point of time in history. You know, what was going on, or what was going, going on around this time? Or do you know anything about my great, 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 great grandfather? But in today's age, it's all about playing a damn video game, right? And just getting hot. Nobody's learning their history. That's why the Lord had to raise up a, 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 a few select men, okay? Because if it wasn't for the men of the most side, we, as a nation, we will have no integrity and no dignity, man. Right? And that's for a fact. But give me Job 20 and start at verse 10. Go ahead. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17, verse 2. For when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation. All right, and that's the holy nation. You so-called blacks, Latinos, native, and similar Indians. You are the holy nation of the Most High. We are the Israelites. Yashar Allah, Yah, in the Hebrew, right? Which means prince of power, prince of the Most High. Go ahead. They, being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness. Yeah, prisoners of darkness, go ahead. And fettered with the bonds of a long night, lay there exiled from the ex eternal providence. Right, and that's, and, and, that's, and, and that's our people, man. We have fetters and chains on our feet. We're still in captivity to this day. Go ahead. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness. Right, and that's what's going to happen to you so-called white people. That's, that's what's... It's going to happen in modern-day Egypt, right? Which America's modern-day Egypt. Go ahead. Being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Come on. And that's how America is going to be astonished by when Vladimir Putin and NATO and the EU shoot these missiles on America. Excellent. You're going to be astonished, right? Go ahead. Right. Book of Job, chapter 20, verse 10. It says, his children shall seek to please the poor. Yeah, his children shall seek to please the poor. Why do you think Donald Trump Handed out twelve hundred dollars uh, last month to so-called blacks and Latinos and Native similar Indians. Why do you think that the Democrats is trying to remove that statue of that damn devil Robert E. Lee? Because uh, uh, he's trying to seek to please the poor. He wants to. He want to. He want to appease you. All right. He wants to rock you back to sleep. Right. He wants to please you. He wants. He, he want. He wants to throw them. He wants to charge them. Uh, them devils that murdered George Floyd. Just, just so yo, you guys can rejoice and say, okay, okay, I, I, I guess, I, I guess the justice system is actually coming along, right? Oh, I guess America is cutting down on the on the racism. They just knocked down that statue, of Robert E. Lee. So I guess everything is is coming around. No, he's just trying to shut you guys the hell up. That's right. That's all this devil's trying to do. Just like your wife, man. Your wife can keep your wife can keep nagging and nagging and nagging until you just give her what you want. You don't. You're not giving her giving her uh, what, what she wants just so just because you like it. Right. You're just doing it so she can shut the hell up. That's exactly what it's how it is with the so-called white man. He wants you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans just to shut the hell up. That's right. That's it. They don't genuinely care about you. America doesn't care about you, right? Go ahead. It says his children. Shall, shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. Right, go ahead. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth. Yeah, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth. Go ahead. Though he hide it under his tongue. Yeah, and he's trying to hide it under his tongue, man. So for white man trying to hide his wickedness, man. And so for white man trying to is trying to hide the fact that he enslaved and raped Robin Pillage, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Assembly Indians, man. That's why in school they're trying to remove slavery from the history text right, right, textbooks. Right. right? Because they want to hide the fact that he had your ancestors as, as slaves. That's right. They want to hide the fact that you had five-year-old young boys in the in the in the cotton field picking cotton. They want to hide the fact that they will literally sit there and watch two so-called black men kill each other for for entertainment. They show you that in the movie Django. Who, who, who's, who's seen who's seen Django, man? Anybody seen Django? Yeah, you had the two Jakes literally fighting each other to the death just to please uh, 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 on the so-called white man. He looked at that as entertainment. And guess what? He rewarded the Jake that uh, 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 that killed that brother. A tall bottle of beer. Right. Okay. A tall bottle of beer, man. Okay. 
Exactly, bro. A gift destroyed the heart. And guess what? And, and guess what that Jake said? Thank you, thank you, Master Sir. Right, right. Thank you, Master Sir. Right? So what does that tell you? Majority of our people, you guys are house niggas, man. Right? But we're out here looking for the field niggas. We're out here that's trying to rebel against this wicked ass society, right? right. We're out here that's trying we we're out here for the guys that's trying to leave America, man, and go back home to Israel. Because America is going to be destroyed, man. Our redemption is coming now, right? Go ahead, bro. Bring it out. And this is uh, what a white man's trying to show you love right now. Uh, this is Proverbs 17 and 9. He that covereth a transgression. Right, he that covereth a transgression. That's what this so-called white man is doing. Covering a transgression. Because it tells you in the book of Exodus 21 and 16 that he that still the man and sell them, or if he be found in a sense, he shall be put to death. That's in the law. And what's transgression of the law? I mean, I mean, what is sin? Transgression of the law. So, the so-called white men trying to hide their transgression that they have committed against God's chosen people. But the Lord sees it all, and the Lord is surely going to avenge our blood speedily. Go ahead. He that covers their transgression yep. seeketh love. Yeah, seeketh love, right? The so-called white man seeks love, right? Hey, hey, that's a beautiful precept. The so-called white man seeketh love. We see that every time the so-called white man come up here, all right, trying to say, I'm sorry for what... You know, my ancestors did, you know, I'm sorry trying to uh, uh, trying to find love, talking about, you know, give me some dap in, in the head seat. You're lucky that I can't put my foot up your damn ass right now, <laughs> that's man. Right? Because right? that's cause that's what I'd rather do. I'd rather that's put right. my foot on the so up the so-called white man's ass. But we gotta wait on your house shot, right? That's right? That but that's what I'd rather do. But they trying to come up here and, and sweep that sweet, sweet uh uh uh, uh words, try, trying to appease us and whatnot. Why? Because all they're trying to do is cover their transgression, bro. That's right. There's more on that? Go ahead. But he that repeateth the matter separateth very friends. Right. He that repeateth the matter separate, uh, separate, uh, of friends. And that's why we're separated from the so-called white because we see time and time and time again in history the same repeated matter, right? First, the so-called white man went over to the West Shores of Africa in the 1440s, enslaved them Africans, brought them to Portugal, right? Then, uh, soon, not too longer uh, 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 after that, they came over here to the shores of America and enslaved our people. And then, and they had us in slavery until, what is it, 1865, whatever, that Abraham Lincoln allegedly freed the slaves. Right. But if you check the 13th Amendment, it says that you're a slave to the state if you, if you go to prison. That's right. That's right. So that's still slavery. That's right. Hey, Yaqua, how, how much you said they get paid a day in prison? What, 43 cents? Uh, 40 cents. 40 cents a day or an hour? A day. You see that? You're in slavery. You are in slavery. Give me that in Baruch, Baruch the third chapter. Got right. that? You're still in slavery to this day. And we're not going to get freed out of this enslavement until the Lord brings back Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who is a so-called black man. All right? So you got that for me? I think it's Baruch 3 and 8. Go ahead. This Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8 says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Right. We are yet this day in our captivity. We're, we're captives here in America. The Lord didn't send us over here on a slave ship to be holding hands with the so-called white man, singing and dancing, eating milk and damn cookies, right? Right. The, so the most high brought us over here to, slave, to serve slavery and to get up out of America. That's right. Because our people tell me also no justice, no peace. Right. Well, what the hell are you so-called Negroes going to do then? Right. right. Malcolm X said if you want freedom, freedom, freedom come by bloodshed. Right. Freedom doesn't come by asking for it. So what are you going to do? No justice, no peace. What are you going to do? Are you going to rise up against this devil? What are you going to do, man? That's what I'm waiting on. I, I don't care about breaking into damn sneaker stores because because they can easily uh, get more sneakers made over there in a third world country paying them, what, like a dollar? While, 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 while niggas is paying two, three hundred dollars for the damn shoe. That's right. People over there in the third world country is, is getting paid like two dollars. Two dollars to get it made. I don't care about stealing any damn jewelry. What are you so called niggas going to do? Are you going to rise up against these devils? Huh? Or are you scared? But don't worry, the Lord's going to put a spirit on you so called Judites, so called African Americans to rise up against this devil. And then Ephraim is going to, is going to link up with Judah. Then all hell is going to break loose. Race wars is coming to America, right? Go ahead, bro. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scouted us. For a reproach, right? For a reproach, you're, you're damn niggas, damn spicks, you wetbacks, right? You're the scum of the earth, you're criminals. Oh, you're black, which black means malicious and evil without light. That's right. That's right. Man. They call you black. Go ahead. 
and they curse in a curse, and you're cursed among these people. You can't your soul the soul of your feet have no ease, no rest. You have no assurance of your life. You don't know if you're gonna live to see the next day. Right. Read on. And to be subject to payments. And to be subject to payments. You so-called blacks and Latinos gotta pay bills. That's why you work two, three jobs. Right? Ain't that right, brother? You work, don't you, bro? Yeah, you work because why? Because you're subject to payments. According to the Bible, God sent us over here to serve slavery, bro. Not to not to seek justice from America. Because America ain't gonna give us no justice, bro. We've been seeking justice for over 500 years, bro. And we still haven't gotten none. Right. You know, you know they charged George George Floyd, a uh, 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 a murderer, with, with third with third degree manslaughter. Manslaughter, bro. That ain't that ain't no manslaughter. He didn't kill him by accident. That was that was that was intentional, bro. That's right. That's right. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna get no justice from the same man that built a system around oppressing us. They literally they literally built this system so that we can be oppressed, bro. They didn't build this system so that we can flourish as a nation. They built this system so that we can be further oppressed every day, bro. We wasn't sent over here to America to uh, 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 to be prospering in this place. But what we got to do is got we got to return to the Lord. Do you believe? Uh, do you believe in the Lord? The Most High, the Most High of the Bible. That's good, bro. And God said that you're Israelite, bro. Which Israelite means a prince of God. So you're a prince, bro. That's right. And your daughter is a princess, bro. That's right. All right, All right. you're Israelite, bro. Give me Psalms 82 and 6. Bring it up. Get that, bro. Fire. Oh, yeah, 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 true. Give me Psalms 82 and 6, bro. Uh, go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. Watch this, bro. This is what uh, this is what they don't teach you in school, bro. Go ahead. It says, I have said, ye are gods. See, the Bible says ye are gods. Go ahead. And all of you are children of the Most High. See, and we're children of the Most High. That's why we just have a special connection with this book, right? The so-called white man, he used this book for, for his own evil purpose. But the so-called white man truly don't believe in the Bible. If you ask the religion of a so-called white man, he's going to tell you that, oh, man, I don't, I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. But why is it that so-called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans fill up the church house? Why is that? Because we have a special connection with this book. Right. We are the saints that this Bible is referring to. That's right. We are the people of this book, bro. Bring it up. We're the Israelites. They tell us that what? You're black, right? But are you the, but are you the color as, as your shirt? They, call, they tell us that we're African-American. How can we be African-American? All right, we're African. Where in Africa are we from? There's plenty of countries over there in Africa. Who are we? Have you ever wondered that, bro? Have you ever wondered your purpose on, on life on the planet? I'm gonna show you, bro. Get that from me. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you your purpose, bro. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 says, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man." See, that's the whole duty of man, bro. It's to fear God and try to strive to live a righteous lifestyle. And one way is growing that beard. I see that beard, bro. That's a that's a nice, healthy looking beard, bro. And that's one of the commandments that God told us to do, us so-called blacks and Latinos, to grow a beard. Okay? And that's one of the laws that he told us to keep. Because the beard is a manly badge of honor. Don't you just feel like a man? You got that beard, man. You know what I'm saying? You look in the mirror, you're like, damn, I got this marvelous beard. You know, you know, your woman. Are, are you married, bro? You marry yeah, your woman feeling up on your beard. Hey, she do that, don't you? Yeah, bro. That and that make you feel good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> the beard is a manly bear, badge of honor, bro. That's right, right man. And that's why LeBron James, I don't know if you've seen the picture of LeBron James lately, but his beard is, is husky now. Yeah, yeah. He looks like a man, masculine. And that's the thing with America. They trying to de masculinize our men. Yeah, that's right. Hey, man, you see, man, you see Lil Uzi and Young Thug in there with them tight jeans and uh, what's the guy named 6'9"? 6'9 right. with rainbow colored hair, bro? That, that's madness, bro. That's madness, bro. Us as the people shouldn't be carrying ourselves like that. But it's just a design, bro. It's a, the whole conspiracy against us. They don't want us to be men. That's right. Okay? You got some people, like, like, like let, let's just say a little white boy was up here. He would f be feeling offended because I'm talking like this. Because I'm speaking with bass in my voice. Right. As men, we're supposed to be speaking with bass in our voice, bro. I was watching Boys in the Hood yesterday, and and um I, I, I forgot his name. Was it Sam? Was it Sam, the main uh, character? Damn, I, th I think his name was Sam. Trey. Huh? Trey. Trey. Oh, Trey. Okay, yeah, boom, boom, Trey, right? His father was like, I, uh, his father was like, I got to teach him how to be a man. That's right. Man. And, that's, and that's why our people, we have a lot of fatherless households, right? 
A lot of them are in prison. A lot of them are in jail. A lot of them are in prison. A lot of them are dead. Why? Because there's a whole design for us not for the young men, little boys, to grow up as men. They want to cut off our seed line forever. But give me Isaiah 33 and 22. Bring it up. But the Lord is going to save us. Okay? Did you vote, brother? Did you vote? You didn't, Why not? You don't vote? Beautiful, bro. That's, that's right. good. That's good. And you know what's so crazy? crazy? You shouldn't vote. You shouldn't vote, bro. That's good. The Bible tells us that if we're if, if, if we're gonna set somebody uh, somebody somebody of a uh, rank over us, a president or a king, he should be from our own nation. Our own nation. Yeah, um, bring it up for me, bro. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 15. Okay. Thou shalt in any wise set him king. Uh, over thee, right. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Yeah, man, best, uh, start up, start up. God, uh, verse 14. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, right. and shalt possess it, right. and shalt dwell therein, and shalt say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Right, exactly. So this whole context is about setting a king over us. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Right, and right, whom the God shall choose, not us, not no going into voting booths and voting for a white boy. Go ahead. One from among thy brethren. See, one from among our brethren, bro. See? So so if we're gonna elect or choose a president to be over us, he should be a so-called black, Latino, or native or similar Indian man. Which we're gonna have a king over us. And his real name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, who That's the world right. calls Jesus Christ, who's a so-called black man. He, he's not a white boy. We don't worship we don't worship no 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 white boy up here. Okay? So far, Jesus Christ is actually a black man, just like you, bro. Right? Go ahead. So, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. See, we shouldn't be setting people over us that are not our brother. And the so-called white man and these other nations, they're not our brother. Because a brother wouldn't kidnap us, enslave us, and sell us. Our brother, our, our brother wouldn't beat our nationality out of us. A true brother, right? A true brother is going to stick by you, by your side, whether whether you're up or you're down, a true brother's gonna have your back. These other nations don't have our back. We all we got. So you and I, bro, we shouldn't be looking at each other as enemies, right? If I was to see you walking down the street, I shouldn't be mugging you, thinking in my mind, yeah, man, I wanna kill this nigga. I shouldn't be doing that, cause you're my brother. Regardless, at the, at the end of the day, no matter of our belief system, we're brothers, and I love you, bro. At the end of the day, right? And that's how we should be looking at each other as kings and princes, right? Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Sirach 17 and 17. For in the division of the nations. Right, so God is a divider, right? In the division of the nations, God. Of the whole earth, he sent a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Right, but Israel belongs to the Most High. We belong to God. Why do you think, why do you think we always refer to each other as the chosen one? No matter, no matter what, no matter how many so-called blacks and Spanish claim that, claim that uh, title, we all say, yeah, man, I'm the chosen one. I'm the chosen one. That's because we are chosen, all right? But, but uh, give me that in Isaiah. Come. It's Isaiah 33 and 22. Uh -huh. For the Lord is our judge. See, the Lord is our judge, bro. That's, that's another reason why you shouldn't vote. God is our judge. He got us. Go ahead. Uh, the Lord is our lawgiver. See, the Lord is our lawgiver. Go ahead. The Lord is our king. See, the Lord is our king, bro. Which, um, the true name of, of God, his name is Yahweh. Yahweh, which Yahweh means he exists in the Hebrew. Go ahead. He will save us. See, he will save us, bro. The Lord is going to save us. The Lord is going to save our people from the condition that they're in today. The Lord is going to save us and put us back in our true land, which is the uh, which is the fertile uh, crescent over there in the land of Israel. That's our true land. The Lord is going to put us back over there. And we're going to, and we're going to live uh, 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 happily ever ever after, right? You have a precept, brother. Oh, Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter eighty-nine, from verse sixteen. It says, "In thy name shall they rejoice all the day." See, in the Lord's name, we're going to rejoice. We're going to rejoice in the Lord. Why? Because the Lord is going to uh, uh, show to the earth that He is a God that judges in the earth, a righteous power that judges in the earth. Go ahead. And in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. Right. And in righteousness, we're going to be exalted. Right now, we're not being exalted right now. Right, right now, as, as a nation, collectively, not talking about individually, because people like to say, oh, well, you got LeBron James and Floyd Mayweather. No, I'm talking about as a whole. We are treated like gum on the bottom of a boot. 
right. us so-called blacks and Latinos and Native and Seminole Indians. Nobody gives a good goddamn about us. The only time the so-called white men visit us is when they need our damn vote. Right side. Right side. Only time so-called white people go up in them black churches is when uh, is is a uh, uh, time for election, or if they need to foreclose your house. That's right. That's the only. That's the only time. But other than that, nobody cares about us, bro. Nobody asks to see how we're doing. Get that Jeremiah 15. Go ahead. Says, for thou art the glory of their strength. And in thy favor, our horn shall be exalted. Right. And we're going to be exalted very soon. Us so-called blacks and Latinos. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, you wavy, bro. I like the waves, bro. Hey, listen, bro. You're an Israelite, okay? You're God on earth, bro. All right? Come, uh, hey, come back to the Lord, bro. See? See, brother? And, and listen, and, 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 and this ain't nothing bad, bro. Trying to teach our people to go back to a, a, no, a, a nobility state of mind. That's right. A, a aristocratic state of mind. Trying to teach posit positivity to our people. Because our people, we need positivity. All that negative energy that, that is being thrown at us and that we're dishing out, that all needs to uh, uh, to um, to stop. Because that's, that's right. further and destroying our people, right? Is there more on there, your precept? Come on, go ahead, bro. Verse 18 says, For the Lord is our defense. Uh -huh. For the Lord is our defense, right? God is gonna. God is the one that's gonna have that hedge or or, or uh, protection around us. And what you gotta do to have that protection on that hedge, you gotta serve uh, serve the Lord. You wanna serve the, the Lord, brother? That's good, bro. Go ahead. It says, and the Holy One of Israel is our King. Right. And the Holy One of Israel is our King. Who's our King? Yahweh. Go ahead, bro. Uh, you got that for me? And uh, it should be Jer 15 and 5. Go ahead. It's the book of Jeremiah 15 and 5. Uh, for who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Right. Who's gonna have pity upon us? Who is going to have pity on Jerusalem? You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and no Indians. Give me uh, James, give me James the fifth chapter. Who's going to have pity on us? No man has to have pity on the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indian. And that's just, and that's just so. They just murdered the brother Ahmad um, Albury in Georgia. I um, mean, you heard of that, right, bro? They just murdered him. A black man, a so-called black man can't even jog now, bro. I can't even, I can't even get my workout on. And then the following month, George Floyd gets neck on, on his on his on his I mean uh, knee on his neck. So we catch the hell. And then maybe a week after that, a so-called Mexican man gets shot in front of his home. Where's that? California? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah two of them. See, and, and one at a gas station. So we just can't catch a break. Or us as a people, we just can't catch a break. Who will have pity upon us? Go ahead. Uh, or who shall bemoan thee? Yeah, who's gonna who, who's gonna bemoan us? Who's gonna lament for us? Who's gonna cry with us? Who's gonna sigh with us? Right? Go ahead, bro. Or well, who shall go aside to ask how thou do it? Who's gonna go aside to ask how we doing? What other nations is asking how we doing? What other nation steps up on a pulpit and say, yeah, I want to make the black community better? Right. No other nation say that. They, they don't want the so-called black community. Uh, uh, to be good. That's why Ronald Reagan, that devil, he put guns and crack in, 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 in a so-called black neighborhood. That's right. And then they lock us up for the same guns and drugs that you put in the neighborhood, right? Ain't that, ain't that crazy, bro? They put all that stuff in our in our neighborhood, they turn around and throw the whole book at us for something that they put in there. You the ones that put us, you the ones that put it in there. Like we, like, like, we got a, like we got a laboratory to cook that up ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. Or, 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 or we got our own private jets and ships right. to be uh, to be shipping uh, uh, kilos or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, what you got, bro? Like Nino Brown said um, in New Jack City, there ain't no poppy seeds in, uh, poppy seed fields in America. That's right. So where are we getting it at? Exactly. They're they're important. It, it was going on, bro. Give me uh, give me First Timothy four four and twelve. It was going on. It was going on, young brother. How old are you, bro? You 14, bro. You 15? Do you uh do you believe in God, bro? Do you believe in the Lord? That's good, bro. Uh, read this for me. This is First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve. This is for you, bro. Go ahead. Let no man despise thy youth. Let no man despise your youth, bro. Let no man despise you because you're young. Jeremiah, he was a prophet of God, right? And he was a very he was he was a very young man. King Solomon, when he sat upon a throne and ruled Israel. He was like eight, nine years old. I, maybe, uh, maybe he was e eleven years old. But the fact is, he was a young man. So God chooses young men to fulfill His will, bro. Right. So you're a young man, and uh, give me Proverbs twenty and twenty-nine. You gotta utilize your youth, bro. You play any sports? 
would you would you play football? football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see your frame. Listen, bro, whatever you want to do it, do it to your mic, because you're young, bro. You ain't uh, going to be young forever, right? Go ahead, bro. No. That? There's a book of Proverbs, uh, 20, verse 29. It says, the glory of young men is their strength. See, the glory of young men is their strength. That should pop right there. Uh, you pop out? Uh, who's going to pop out? That's what, uh, oh, you? oh, okay, 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 okay. See, that's why, that's why you dad be like, damn, man. Oh, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right, young. See, we got the family out here. That's that's exactly why your pops be like, damn. I wish I was as young as you. <laughs> because a young man's glory is their strength. Go ahead. He says that the beauty of old man is the gray head. Hey, hey, hey! But the older brothers. Your beauty is them, is them, is them, is them gray hair, because that symbolizes what wisdom, right? But go ahead, uh, 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 keep going on that uh, from the top. All right. Um, let's see, go back. First thing, four, 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 twelve. Let no man despise thy youth. Yeah, let no man despise uh, despise your youth, bro. Go ahead. But be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Right. So. The reason why you don't want no man to uh, um, despise your youth, bro, because God loves to choose young men. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Right? The young men. The young, the young men, the young men are going to be the ones that's going to that's going to be uh, 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 leaders, okay? Because because we're all young men in this thing, man. That's right. Okay. Okay. You got it for me, bro. Come on, go ahead. This is what Ecclesiastes chapter 12 from the top. It says, remember now thy creator and the days of thy youth. See, the Bible says, remember your, remember the creator and the days of thy youth. You're 15, bro, okay, and you're young as well. You got to remember the Lord and the days of your youth because your mind is strong. Your mind is sharp, okay? You can remember a lot of things. You have a bunch of energy. Use, use that energy and put it forth in serving the Lord, right? Go ahead. While the evil days come not. Right, because evil days are coming. Evil days are coming to America, right? Go ahead. It says, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right, exactly. Except when you uh, when you grow older and say, damn, I don't, I don't have no pleasure no more. Because you get old, you get lazy, you don't want to do anything no more, you just want to chill, all right? So what we got to do, we got to utilize our, our our youth, man. When we're young, we got to put forth all our effort into serving the most high. Because the most I love uh, 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 um, a young, young man. Hey, hey, what's up, sister? What's going on, sis? What's going on, sis? How you doing? You all right? I'm blessed. Are you blessed? That's good. That's good. Us as a chosen, us as a nation, we are blessed. We're blessed because we have the promises promised to us that we're going to inherit the kingdom. What's the kingdom? The kingdom is going to be over there in the land of Israel. Okay, on earth. Okay, see, the Christian church have a misconception on what heaven is or what rulership is. Give me Revelation 5 and 9, bro. We're going to be ruling on the planet Earth, okay? That's right. We're not. We're not just going to be. We're not just going to be floating up in the sky, in the clouds and whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Holding hands. The kingdom of heaven is just a multi-ethnic group. No, the kingdom of heaven comprised of the Israelites. You so-called Blacks, Latino, Native Americans. You're finally going to get your rest. You're finally going to get rest when the kingdom comes, right? So go ahead. This is Revelation chapter five, verse ten, and has made us unto our God. Kings and priests. Right. We're kings and priests. That's why we're out here doing the work of the Lord. Because the priest does what? The priest does the work of God. Go ahead. And we shall reign on the earth. Right. We shall reign on the earth. We're going to be reigning on the planet earth. And the kingdom of heaven is not going to be comprised of a multi-ethnic uh, 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 heaven. That's not what the Bible talks about. The, the Bible talks about a chosen, a chosen nation, a chosen race, a chosen society being over any other uh, uh, group of people. That's called uh, ethnic hierarchy, all right? Which we deserve ethnic hi hierarchy. Because we done served over 500 years of bondage. God damn. Yeah, bro. Yeah, listen, bro. It's only white. It's so called, hey, hey, the so called white man had thousands of years to rule the earth. I'm talking about he was the Greeks, he was the Romans. And then he just, then he came back, then he came back out of Europe, right? Uh, this uh, 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 um, this revised Roman Empire, he's ruling over Britain, Spain, okay, Netherlands, America, yeah, Russia. Yo, stop, damn, like, it's all the white men's everywhere. So we, so we need a chance to rule. Give me Micah 2 and 10. We need a chance. We need some rest. And we ain't going to get rest over here in this sorry-ass kingdom. 
right? This kingdom, this kingdom, this kingdom is sorry. Two and ten. The book of Micah, chapter two and verse ten it says, "Arise ye and depart. Arise ye and depart. Go ahead. For this is not your rest. This is not our rest. All right. This is not our rest. I don't, man. You you can go ahead and get a whole month off, paid 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 vacation. That's still not enough. You're still tired. Your feet still tired, right? Go ahead. The so-called white man works you to death, and your job you got to work overnight." You gotta work 16 hours. You can't even get to go home to enjoy your wife or children. Right? We're not at rest as a people. Go ahead. Because it is polluted. Because America is polluted, right? America is polluted. America is upside down. Go ahead. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. And it's our destroyers. That's why our people are destroyed. Because our people have a false sense of hope in America. Thinking that America is gonna give us a light of justice, a lick of justice. America isn't going to give us a lick of justice. So we got to stop trusting in the man that enslaved you. The same man that put you in slavery, that ripped babies out of so-called black and Latino woman's stomach, hanged them, raped them, raped men and women. You think this same man is going to give you justice? You think this same man is going to give, is going to give you freedom? This man ain't going to give, ain't going to get you freedom. If you, if he, don't you think if the so-called white man wanted to give you freedom, he would have been done it by now? That's right. Because he has the power to. That's right. So why hasn't he done it yet? Newsflash, because he doesn't want you free. That's right. When we tried that, when we when we built up the Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, have you ever heard of that before, brother, the Black Wall Street? When we built up the Black Wall Street in Tulsa, in Tulsa Oklahoma, what happened? They burned they burn it all down. They bombed it. Bro, we, we done have businesses flourishing, movie theaters. What else we have, man? We got our, it said, yeah, schools, yeah, yeah, hospitals, Airport. right? It said it looked like a miniature Beverly Hills. And guess what happened? Because of the hatred that our enemy has for us, it just burned it all down. Yeah, look at these, look at these damn niggers. They're being independent on their own. So they had to burn it all down so we can integrate, right? But bring out your picture, brother. This is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Right, is Israel a servant? Go ahead. Is he a homeborn slave? Is he a slave? Uh, is our people house niggas? Go ahead. Why is he spoiled? Yeah, why is he spoiled? And that's yes. Give me Hosea 14 from the top. And yes, we are slaves. That's why we need to get up out of America. That's why we need to return back to the Most High. And the Lord wants us to return back to him, man. Because Israel is the Most High's woman. The Lord wants us to return back to him. You ever preach about? Oh, kind. Right? Bring it up, bro. This is book Ezekiel, chapter 24, verse 9. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city. Yeah, woe to the bloody city. And America is that bloody city. America has shed the blood of the saints, the children of Israel. First, the so-called Native Muslim Indians, right? They got raped, robbed, and pillaged. Uh, blood was shed on this land. Go ahead. So this is a bloody city. Go ahead. I will even make the pile of fire great. Heap on wood, kill of the fire, consume the flesh, and spice it well, and let the bones be burned. That's what's going to happen here in America. Because God's going to judge America for its uh, wicked deeds, the evil deeds that was done to his people. You so-called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans. And look, I don't find anything wrong with that, personally. I don't find anything wrong with that. How the hell did America get, get, get its freedom from the British? Bloodshed, right? By war, an act of war. How did, how, how did America get to push out France and Spain from American territories? By going to war with them. So we need to so we need to go to war. Okay? Which that war is coming soon. But go ahead. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Hosea 14. Hosea 14 verse 1. Go ahead. It's Hosea chapter 14 from the top. Oh, Israel. Oh, Israel. So you talk about blacks, Latinos, name of similar Indians. The Lord is speaking to you. You're, you're the children of Israel. Which Israel in Hebrew is Yashar Allah, which means he, Prince of Power. So you're a Prince of God. Go ahead. Return unto the Lord thy God. Yeah, return unto the Lord your power. Stop sinning. Keep the faith in the Son, Yahweh Hamashiach. Okay, return unto the Most High. And he wants us, wants us to return so we can go back to the land. Us returning to the Lord equals our salvation. Give me that in Baruch 2, 2 and 30, bro. Real fast. Give me Baruch 2, chapter 2, verse 30. And these and these scriptures you're not going to hear in a Christian church. Go ahead. Huh? It's the book of, book of Baruch, chapter 2, verse 30. It says, For I know 
that they would not hear me because it is a stiff neck people. Our people stiff neck. We can't get right. Go ahead. But in the land of their captivity, but in the land of their captivities, which we're in the land of our captivity right now, America. Go ahead. They should remember themselves. They shall remember themselves. That's why we're out here professing, believing with all boldness, with 100% faith that we are the children of Israel. That's right. Okay? That's why you have reggae artists like Sizzla and Capitan and Buju Batan all stating that we are Israelites in Babylon. That's right. Listen to them. Even even Bob Marley. Bob Marley know that, that we're the Jews. Right? Everybody knows it. But why don't we know it? Because we were stripped of our heritage, right. right? Keep going, huh? But it says, in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, right? And what? Go ahead. And shall know that I am the Lord their God. And know that Yahweh is our God and our God only. Go ahead. For I will give them an heart and ears to hear. Right. That's why you see these men up here. Because the Lord gave us a heart and ears to hear. Go ahead. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and think upon my name. That, that proves that we're going to have the name in the last days. That proves that we're going to have the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Wai, Yahweh, Shai. That's the true names of the Heavenly Father and, and the Son. Go ahead. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sin before the Lord. Right. And that's and that's what we did. We called to remember the sins that our forefathers did. Eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, being damn uh, uh, homosexuals, lesbians, and whatnot, committing committing idolatry. All those things the Lord hates. Go ahead. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. So, so what is that, bro? That's that's us. Remember our so this is a whole sequence. We were we were sent to America. Now we are remember ourselves. Now the Lord is about to deliver us. You see that? All in order. Go ahead. You said Abram, Isaac, Shalom, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And we're going to be lords over the land of Canaan, which is modern to Israel. Go ahead. And now we increase them, and they shall not be this dip salah. And they shall not be di diminished. That's right. And the Lord is going to increase us. Meaning what? We're going to have a whole lot of sex in the kingdom, man. All right? We're going to be multiplying so that. The whole nation of Israel can't come back. But that's it on that. Go ahead, bro. It's Ezekiel 22 and 15. And I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries. Right. And that's and, and, and that's what the Lord did. The Lord scattered us among the countries. Go ahead. And will consume thy filthiness out of thee. Right. And the Lord is going to purge our filthiness out of us. That's why the Lord raised up 144,000. Right? Because they're going to be uh, be found blameless in the sight of the Most High. Go ahead. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself. Oh, and we're going to take our, our inheritance in ourselves, right? We're going to proclaim and profess to be an Israelite once again. And not being niggas, not being a, 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 a Egyptian, not being black, Jamaican, or Puerto Rican, right? Professing ourselves, putting it back on our, our identity, our true identity. If you notice these Jewish people, these Jewish people don't even don't even believe in Torah. Right. It was this little Jewish guy. Hey, it was this Jewish guy that came up to camp in Philly. Man, Lord knows I wanted I wanted I wanted I wanted to tie him to a tree and and, and tie the string to a car and just drive off with the car. That's man, right. To that damn Jewish guy. The Lord knew I wanted to do that, but I just can't, man. And I can't wait till Yahweh Shah come back. Lord will I'm of the elect, bro, because man, these devils are gonna get hell, man. That's right, all, all right. right? Hell, That's double right. for all for all that they've done to us, right? That's right. But this guy said, "I'm not, I'm, I'm not religious." I'm like, damn, you're not religious, but the whole foundation or whole basis of you being Jewish is the Torah. That's right. But most of them are atheists, though. That's right. But why is it that we have a connection with this book, though? That's right. But they don't believe in a God. But they're supposed to be the chosen people of the Most High. Un freaking believable, man. So that's so that's how you know that we're we're the people of this book. Because we're snatching back our nationality, right? Go ahead. And thou shalt take that inheritance in thyself, uh, in the sight of the heathen. In the sight of the heathen. That's why you got all these simple ass heathens looking at us like, wow. Wow, I never seen this before. That's why you got vocab alone trying to come up against every single Israelite group. How you know that you're an Israelite? Oh, what about the Lashawan Kodesh, as he says? How are you the Israelites? We're taking back our, our ethnicity back oh. for, uh, uh, for, uh, from, these, from these damn devils. And they hate it. 
But hey, too bad, too sad. Go ahead. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And we're going to know that the Most High is our power, right? So go back in, in, in Hosea and read verse 1 again. So you still got blacks and Hispanics and Native and some of the energy. You need to repent, man. You need to come back to the Most High God, who is your true power, right? Go ahead. Hosea chapter 14 from the top. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. Right, so the Most High said to return unto him. Read on. For thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. See, we have fallen because of our iniquity, man. We have fallen from our kingdom, from the place of our rulership, from heaven, because we sinned, we disobeyed the Most High. Right? So the only, so the logical thing to do is to do what? Return it to the Most High. Right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's that easy. That's the solution. Niggas talking about some, oh, well, what are you doing for the so-called black community? I mean, we're doing it. That's right. We actually have a solution. What is your solution? The rest of these guys' solutions, there's holes in it. Well, they be like, well, you know, we have to teach our people uh, real estate. You know, we have to get our people into black economics and whoop de woo But I always ask, how is that going to benefit our people collectively? Because you're still going to have some of our people that are still going to be trodden down. Laying down on the, on, the, on the ground with no house, no food to eat with a damn Lucy in their mouth. Huh? Exactly. Most of our people. I'm not talking about having some blacks and Latinos and Native Americans rich and then everybody else is downtrodden and poor. I'm talking about how are we going to be good as a nation as a whole? And they have no answer for it. The Bible has the answer for it. And it's to return to the Mosai and have faith in who the world calls Christ. That's how right. was shot, right? Go ahead, bro. Verse 2. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Yeah, take with you words and return to the Mosai. Go ahead. Say unto him. Take away all iniquity. Yeah, you got to pray to the most high. Say, take away our sins. Because our sins are going to be blotted out soon. Go ahead. And receive us graciously. Right, and receive us graciously. We should be repenting to the most high. That's what we should be doing as a people. Repenting to the most high so that, Lord willing, he hears us and frees us out of, out of captivity. Go ahead. So will we render the cows of our lips. Asher shall not save us. We will not ride upon the horses. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. What you're dealing with Assyria. Assyria shall not save us. America ain't going to save us. Which Assyria is modern day America, right? Or you can even take it back to when the northern kingdom was worshiping the Assyrian gods. They ain't going to save us. These other these other nations, guys, ain't going to save us. These other nations ain't going to save us, man. Give me that in um, Lamentations on, on the fourth chapter. Check it out, man. Yeah, y'all already know. Come, brother, go ahead. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 17 says as for us our eyes as yet fail for our vain help and our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us yeah we watch for a nation that cannot save us hey man what is this damn white boy doing in the so-called black community man that's hey right, get huh? this guy the hell up out of here that's see right. that's what see that's what see that's the problem with so-called blacks and latinos and even some of the indians we just let anybody integrate into our communities right. but if you go to a so-called white man community they're going to be so quick to put a cops on your ass right. man, and get your ass removed out of there y'all right. need to remove these damn uh these damn devils from out, from out of your community because right. what they do is cause division and strife amongst you man that's right, right? man when are, when, are, when are our people going to learn Go ahead, bro. Bring it up. Direct 12 and 10. Yep. Never trust thine enemy. Matter of fact, I wanted, I wanted that too. It slipped my mind. Go ahead. We're going to read down to uh, 16. Go ahead. 12 and 10. Yep. Never trust thine enemy. Right. So the Bible says to never trust your enemy. Who is your natural born enemy? If you go throughout history, it is, it is, it is a fact and it is just common sense that these damn devils, the so-called white man, is your enemy, man. Go ahead. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Go, go ahead. Oh, read it again. For like as iron rusted, iron is guaranteed to rust, right? Go ahead. So is his wickedness. Man, the so-called white man's wickedness will, will, will surely will surely manifest. Right. Just wait on it. Right. Just like just like when just like when the the Asherites showed Esau their riches and whatnot, they thought they thought that he, that, that that they was at peace with him and whatnot. They wanted to be friends. What happened, man? Esau stabbed them in the back. All right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they looted. They looted. Hey, this up white man, it's the foundation of every wicked thing, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, border, yeah, border, yeah, border wickedness, bro. Exactly. That's right, Doc. <laughs> go, go ahead. Uh, verse uh, 11. Yep. Though he humble himself. Yeah, man, though he humble himself. How, how many times have we, have we seen that? So for white men trying to humble themselves. We see that with them trying to remove the statue of Robert E. Lee. They trying to humble themselves. We see them 
we see them doing that when they uh, uh, charge the damn cop with third degree murder. They're trying to humble themselves. They're trying to make themselves look that they're a okay, right? Go ahead. Though he humble himself uh -huh. and go crouching. Yeah, go crouching. Go ahead. Yeah, take good heed. Yeah, to, yeah, take good heed to him. Beware. Just like how you would do to your own brother. You know, you know, you're you and your little gang, right? And somebody outside of your gang come and try to dap you up and whatnot. You, you like, I don't know about this guy. That's exactly how you should be. The so called. Hey, 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 Billy, 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 Billy. What are you doing in the so called predominant black community, man? I hope you don't have a black woman in your home, man. And why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you walking on stolen ground? That's right. Why are you walking on stolen ground? You and your son get ready for damn slavery. Man. That's right. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, and we, yes, 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 yes. That's we right. talk to white people like that. Yes, right. yeah, yeah, yes, we do. Go ahead. Yeah, take That's good right. heed and beware right. of him, right. and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. Go ahead. And as thou shalt know, and you're going to realize, go ahead, that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Verse 16. Verse 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. See, an enemy speak, speaketh sweetly with his lips, man. That's what an enemy does. Says anything so that he can get you on, on his good side, right? Go ahead. But in his heart. But in his heart, meaning his mind, because when you read the Bible, your heart symbolizes your mind, right? Go ahead. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. But he imagines how, how, to, how to just destroy you. That's what these people do. Hey, you brothers and sisters, you are Israelites, okay? Your God shows in people, all right? Right. Your 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 princesses and your and your kings and princes, all right? Sir. All right, brother. Go ahead, bro. Um, oh, you had a uh, Psalms eighty three, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, kind of, go ahead. In Psalms eighty three, so I'm gonna start at verse two. Says, "For lo, thy enemies make us a mock, and they that hate thee have lifted have lifted up the head." Jump down to verse five. It says, "For they have consulted together with one consent." All right. So your enemies. All the rest of these nations, they come together, okay, with one consent so that they can overthrow you so-called blacks and Latinos. That's why you got uh, the damn Chinese stores in the hood. You got the liquor stores in the hood. You got Elam in the hood, crown fried chicken. But that chicken is disgusting, man. No, 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 no other nation can make better fried chicken than the so-called black woman, man. That's a fact. Yeah, but you got these damn East Indians, these damn dot heads trying to mimic fried chicken. Man, listen, bro. Listen, bro, they offered me a fried I almost threw the hell up when I took a bite out of that, man. And I vowed, I vowed, I'll never eat fried chicken away uh, 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 from here ever again. Yeah, yeah, probably probably did, bro. Right? And look at this boxy boy, man. Right? But go ahead, bro. So they are confederate against thee. See, they're all confederate against us. They all have a plot to how to destroy us. Go ahead. The tabernacles of Edom. Now, why is it that the first person on here is Edom? It is just a coincidence, all right? Hey, what's going on, brother? What's going on? Enjoy you guys. Huh? Enjoy you guys. Have you ever um heard of this? Heard of this before? You heard of this before? I would love to hear about it. Okay, so we teach that us so-called blacks and Latinos, Native Americans, that we are the true Israelites according to the Bible. How you feel about that, bro? That you that that you that you may be a God's God's chosen one of God's chosen people. Okay. Oh, you're both educated. So you know that you're an um, Israelite. Okay, that's good. That's good. Is uh, that your wife right there? What is what is what is your what is her ethnic background? If you don't mind me asking. Caucasian on, on her dad's side. On her uh, dad's side. Oh, both. Okay, okay, okay. So 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 you're so you're um, educated, right? So. How can you just walk hand in hand with your enemy like that, man? How can you, how can you walk in hand in hand with your enemy like that? You said what? Oh, we're all one. Okay, so so if so if, if we're all one, I'm just asking the question. I'm just asking the question, bro. Yeah, I just want to ask. I just want to ask questions. All right, all right, all right. So if we're all one, why is it that why is it that we're not treated equally in America? Why why is it that why is it that they label us three fifth three fifth of a man? If we're if we're all one, yes, still to this to this day. That's right. To this day. To this day. We all come together, right? We all come together. No. See, see, look, the problem with coming together, right? 
that never worked. That's right. Coming together. That's right. When we were when we were actually what's the word I'm looking for? Not integrated, but um segregated. 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 When we were segregated away from so-called white people, right? Not attacking your wife or none of that, right? Yeah, yeah. When we were seg when we were segregated, the numbers showed that we were doing better than when we were integrated. So that just shows, and our history um, repeats itself, right? That just shows if we were to separate, leave our enemy, leave massa, we'll be we'll be doing fine. Hey, you, if you look through our history, you know the Black Wall Street, we were away from so-called white people, right? And we were good. So that shows you that we don't need to band together with white people. We need to fix the eternal problem That's in right. our house, in-house issues, right? Because you wouldn't want an outsider to come in your home to try to counsel you about how you should fix up your house, would you? A exactly. So it's the same way with us. We should band together so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native and similar Indians because we have an eternal problem. We should fix that within ourselves, not including anybody else. I mean, that's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about that, though? Are you... I want to hear this, and I want to, 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 if I ask every one of you guys, yeah. you say the same thing, but it's going to be different. Everyone's not going to say the same thing. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm right now, I'm being educated. Okay, okay, so um, are you, uh, so um, are you Christian or whatever? No, you're Christian, you're Christian. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hold, hold on, bro. Oh, you both, oh, so you're Christian, right? So, so what color is your God? We never put a color on God. Never think about Okay, you never put a color on God. That's what I think about it. That's what you think about it. You know? We we can take the picture of God and be in a car picture, right? Mm -hmm. But that's because of what? That's, what? that's what's been drawn in books. White supremacy. Yeah, that's what we got. So we don't know God is what? Or white. The one thing we do know. Okay, grab that for me. But we, we, we do know that, that, that God, is, God is good, God is great. Okay. You know, and he's all, all, all. Okay. All. Okay. All right, good. Okay, so good. So now, the Bible does give us a description on how uh, uh, how God looked like. So you are you are the belief that Jesus is God, all right? Okay, boom. So let's just read about God, all right? Because cause, cause the Bible does describe how God looked like. So go ahead, get that. Look, look, there at the school of that Jesus is God, right? Go ahead. This book of Revelation, chapter 1, from verse 14. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. It says God, uh, uh, hairs were white like wool. Now, do you know? Now, do you know the meaning of the word wool? Okay, so when you look up when you look up the word woolly, it means Afro textured hair. So Jesus Christ would have so called African American hair, so called a uh, 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 nappy hair, right? Go ahead. As white as snow, Go ahead. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, Go ahead. and his feet and his feet, right? Now your feet is going to be the same color as the rest of your body, right? His feet. Go ahead. Like unto fine brass. Like unto fine so brass. Fine. What color is brass? Right. That's going to be a brownish copper type color. Brownish copper type color, right? Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. As if his feet burned in his furnace. So that means that he will be even darker, right? So that means that so called Jesus Christ is really so called black man, bro. According to the Bible. Right? No, no, bro. We, we know. You see, bro. All right. So, so, okay, okay, okay. So, boom. Question, right? Let's just let's just say, right? Your father, right? Your father was a man of a high stature. Your father was well known, right? And he died, right? Now, everybody else is trying to portray your father to look like something that he doesn't look like. You're going to come out and correct that, right? For what? Truth matter, right? So we want to establish the color of Christ because of truth. Because we done seen this picture being perpetuated throughout the planet Earth for over 500 years now. So now we want to come out and say, look, this is wrong. So it's all about the truth. It's all what it always boils down. It always boils down to what the truth is. That's and the right. truth is that our Savior, our 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 Lord, looks just like us. That's right. Mm -hmm.
You see, you see. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, you good. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Well, 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 listen, brother. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what the thing is, bro, when you read when you read in Genesis 10, right, or is it Genesis 11? You had everybody. You had everybody on the same page, right? And what did God do? God divided languages. God didn't want everybody to be together, bro. So the God of the Bible, He doesn't want everybody to be to be together, bro. Hold on, what? Oh, they write. Oh, they man write that in the book. So, so all the prophets, right? All the prophets wrote down what God. God told him to write down. Uh, so why is it so why is it that God always divides people when you read the Bible? God doesn't divide. It. Give me what's that scripture where it says separation? Genesis sheep? thirty-six, huh? Get thirty-six and eight and Luke twelve. Luke twelve. Luke 12? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I want where it says and separate the sheep, the, the sheep from the Matthew book. 24. Yeah, 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 get that. This book of Matthew. Well, hey, hey, listen, bro. Watch it. This is, this is, uh, brother, 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 and before him shall be gathered all nations. So all nations are going to be gathered before Christ, right? Read on. And he shall separate. He shall do what? Separate. So all nations are going to be, be uh, sent before Christ. And he's going to do what? Separate them one from another. He's going to separate them one from another. Read on. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. So you see? So there's separation clearly there in the Bible, bro. So God is not for everybody to be grouped up together. There's separation. All right, brother. All right, brother. All right, brother. And, and guess what? Your honky is gonna is gonna be a slave. All right. All right. So you know, go ahead and you know, you know, work out with her. Cause I see you're a fit man. Work out with her. Get her uh, get get her body ready, man. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course not. Well, that man gonna say, uh, 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 Shalom. Shalom.